Say job is a or sorry, say job is a very very big win for you tonight. Give me an idea, kind of how you feel uh, about the victory this evening. Oh, you know what? I feel great. Um, like I said, words are powerful. I I came in there saying that I was gonna knock my opponent out and I ended up getting the finish, knocking him out in the second round. He's a tough opponent. Uh, I know he's fought some great guys in the UFC. Uh, he's a black bone jitsu. He's known for punching hard. So um, to go out there and get the finish, that was awesome. First round was a tough one for you, man. How, how did you feel things were going? Did you feel like you need to make some adjustments? I mean, how, what were you thinking through that first round? Oh, you know what? He hit me with, with the hard shot in the very beginning. I actually didn't see it coming. I, I got to watch the footage. I think I might have blinked or something or faked and blinked. So uh, next time that would be different. But, but yeah, he got me with a good shot. Um, I used the stuff I've been learning at Team Alpha Male. Stayed really calm. Never really hit me from the bottom, which was good. Ended up standing back up, and I felt I felt totally different being at 170. All of a sudden, I stood back up, I started beating up the strike, and hit him with jabs, dazing him with jabs. So my body felt great, and uh, my cardio is immaculate. Yeah, it looked like the second you got off your back, I mean, you were immediately striking it. So, I mean, did you feel concerned when you were on your back at all? Like, oh, man, you know, here's, this, this, could, this could be a long night. No, you know what? I have some of the best training partners in the world, Team Alpha Mill. I have Uriah Faber who rolls around with me, and he's got incredible rest, incredible jiu-jitsu. Um, everybody at the gym. So I'm, I'm in that situation all the time at his gym. I'm learning the sequences. I'm learning the, the techniques, everything. So now, now getting to fight my natural weight and start to put on more weight and grow into that weight class will be even better. The, the finish. I mean, we saw two fights tonight finished by hammer fist, which was crazy. I mean, when you were throwing those shots, did you think I can finish the fight right here, or was it more about just trying to get him to move? What, what were your intentions with those? No, absolutely. You know, at 170, even before the UFC, that was the weight class I was fighting at, a catch weight at 165 or 170. Um, I feel like I can hit anybody with a hammer fist or an elbow. I could daze them, rock them, or knock them out. I'm, I'm confident with this. So, um, yes, absolutely. I, I know he's a tough guy. I know he's say he was big. He he claimed he was gonna go out there and ragdoll me, but um, but I'm I'm a tough guy. I'm strong and uh, I'm I'm confident that my striking and my my skills are gonna keep improving. I'm gonna keep getting better. I wonder too if this kind of fight where you test. I mean, I'm sure in a perfect world you go out there, throw one punch, knock him out, and the fight's over. Right? You know, you dominate. But does this kind of like feel good that you were tested a little bit? You had to fight off your back a little bit. I mean, do you like a victory like this where maybe you showed the world like, hey man, I'm not kind of what you think I am. Well, absolutely. You know what? Um, you can see my jitsu is improving. He's a black bone jitsu. I think he has his own studio. I'm not 100% positive about that, but I believe so. Um, I went in there. I was I was hitting the techniques I've been practicing at Team Alpha Mill. My my coach Uriah Faber almost choked him out with the submission out there. I could felt it was getting tight, and then took the mount on a black bone jitsu. So my jitsu is improving. I've always had jitsu, and it's getting better. Last well, thing for me, give me an idea. Of what's next? I mean. You know, the sky's the limit for you, but uh, is there a date, an opponent, a, a location that you know the UFC is going? What's next for you? You know what? Uh, I'm talking to my coaches, talk with the UFC, and I'll find out. Hey, you mentioned the, the weight class. You might even want to even go up higher. What, what kind of a, what kind of type oh, do you see? Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm, I'm still growing, so who knows? I might be, I mean, if you look at my brother, my brother's like 6'4", <laughs> and he's only 19 years old, so I... Who knows? I hope I'm as tall as him. I might be 6'5". Who knows? And uh, I could be 220 pounds, 230. I have no idea. So my mom's side of the family, my mom's dad was 6'5", six 6'6", foot six foot six, really tall. I, I don't know. I could be fighting uh, 185 in the future, be fighting a lot bigger, but first, 170. All right. You know? And uh, what would you say is the, the biggest thing that you your takeaway from being with Team Alpha Mel since coming to the team? Oh, you know what? It's my first time actually having a team. That's a big thing. We're kind of like, kind of like brothers. So we all hang out together. It's actually super fun getting to hang out. I've never had like a group of people to really hang out with and have fun training. That's, that's the main thing. Um, I'm learning all the techniques. I've been there for like 10 or 11 months straight. So now I just, I can't wait. So I keep getting more and more technique. Now I'm at 170, get to be my natural weight and then get to get that strength and everything, get to grow into that weight class. You said you could play around at 155. You think, no, after tonight, feeling that, you think for sure welterweight? Well, you know what? I can make 155. It's it's an extremely tough weight cut for me. Um, my, I walk around very very lean, even at even at 170 pounds. My skin is super paper thin, so uh, making that weight super tough for me. I I don't quite feel like the same Sage as I do in training. And as as you saw out there, I hit my opponent with some hammer fist and knocked him out. So I, I just feel like 170 is more a more explosive, more powerful, and better weight class.